I just use an AI agent to build my very own AI agent. Super meta, right? Also pretty exciting. Let's jump into it. Last week, Replit dropped Agent 3, big new release. And one of the cool new features is that you now have the ability to build agents and automations. Replit is my go-to vibe coding platform. I, as a vibe coder or someone without a traditional software development background, have been able to build everything from a personal portfolio website to a cryptocurrency dashboard to even some more businessy type of applications like my vendor management portal and my customer support website. With this new feature, I now have the ability to build out two new different types of builds, agents and automations. And I'm excited to show you what I've been building. Okay, so the easiest one to explain is an automation. Think of an automation as a series of steps that need to be completed in order to accomplish a particular task, something that you might want to automate. Let me give you an example. This is my archive daily recap. So archive is an academic database and you probably have like a hundred plus papers on AI alone that get published every day. And if you're trying to stay up to speed on all of that, it's going to be pretty tough. But now I have an automation that Every day we'll scrape the top 25 papers from archive in the AI category, summarize them and give me a nice little newsletter type of recap. And the cool thing about this is that it's automated, it's convenient, this is coming in my inbox every day and it's customized. So I particularly care about the papers in the AI category, the tone of voice here, more layman, more casual, because that's the level where I can comprehend this a little bit more. I don't have a PhD in statistics or in AI. So this is pretty cool. If we head over to our Replit build, here is that automation that I was referring to. Here is the trigger. It's going to happen in the morning. Then my automation is going to fetch the latest papers from archive. It's going to pass those over to OpenAI to summarize each one of the papers, get some themes, and give me a summary in the style that I care about. And then it's going to send me that summary to my inbox in this newsletter type of form. The second thing I wanted to show you that I think is pretty gnarly is the ability to build out your own custom agents. Think of an agent as a custom AI assistance with some more tooling that's very customized and that you can access through Slack and Telegram. So if I go back here to agents and automations, you'll see you have two options here, Slack message and Telegram message, and you can click into one of these and start building an agent. Let me just show you an example. This is my own personal assistant in Slack, I'm calling them Alfred, and I can say, hey, Alfred, what's going on? Are you there? And we'll send Alfred a quick message. Here I got an emoji saying that Alfred got the message. And here is my reply. So, good evening, sir. I am indeed present and at your service. Very nice of you, Alfred. So, I can say, hey, Alfred, can you tell me um, what are some of the headlines on Hacker News today? Send that in. And again, I get a nice little emoji telling me that Alfred's got the message. And here are the news. I can read through those. Okay, Alfred, can you create a task for me? I um, want to build out a new agent in Telegram tomorrow. Can you just uh, create a task for me, please? Drop that in there. And again, get a nice little emoji. And then here's Alfred coming back and saying that he built out this task. So let's click on that. And you can see that this is in my Notion database. So he's created a task in my very own Notion database. Okay, so what we have here is an assistant that is LLM powered, so it has that intelligence. As you can see, it's sort of a casual conversation. I'm almost talking to someone, but also an AI system that has access to custom tooling. So this here, the Hacker News is a custom tool. So if we go over to the build and I look at the code and I had and I and I show you sort of the tools that I have available to Alfred, you'll see the Hacker News tool here. So this tool gives Alfred the instructions of 
how to go out and scrape Hacker News and return that. And what's cool about this is I can continue to give Alfred access to more databases and documents and more tools. Here's another example. This is my video thumbnail generator agent available on Telegram. So here I am saying like, hey, can you build an AI theme thumbnail on building agents with agents? And I drop in my photo and here is the thumbnail that I get. Not too bad. And then I asked the agent to add a little bit more shock to my expression. And here I am with a little bit more shock. And then here I am asking agent to add, to change the text on the thumbnail. And here it is changing the text. And then I asked agent to swap out the person altogether and use this person instead. And check this out. Agent did that really nicely as well. I actually like this thumbnail better than mine. I might actually use this. Here we are back in Replit. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, so whenever I ping that bot on Telegram, it's coming into this workflow. And that workflow is triggering my thumbnail agent. And my thumbnail agent has specific instructions. So let me go here into the Mastra developer dashboard and I can show you those instructions. And here is the prompt for this agent. You are a thumbnail agent, a friendly assistant that creates high impact YouTube nails YouTube thumbnails, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And these are all the instructions for this agent. Also, this agent has access to a tool. This is the replicate thumbnail generator. So when this agent feels that it is appropriate, it will call this tool. So let me head over to tools and show you that. It's going to take an, a URL of the person in the photo. It's going to take the text overlay that's recommended by the agent, some visual description here, and then some other details. It's going to send this over to replicate and it's going to pass it through an image generation model. Then it's going to return it back to agent, which is then going to send this back to the user in Telegram. Pretty cool, right? What I love about this is that this is a low friction, easy way to test out AI services. So you can have a AI thumbnail generation service and you could go out and build a whole front end and UI and website for that. Or you can go here, build a Telegram bot or agent and give potential users access to this bot and have the users go back and forth and give you feedback on what they like. And then once you get validation on that idea, then you go out and build the full front end website that you need for something like that. So I love this as a great way to test different concepts and different ideas. And again, all of this is being vibe coded in Replit. I'm using Agent 3 to vibe code all of this in natural language. I'm talking to Agent 3. I'm saying, hey, I want these things. Can you build it out? And I'm going back and forth until I get what I want. Okay, so just to recap, Agent 3 just launched on Replit. Replit is my go-to vibe coding platform. Up until now, I've just built web apps, but now they give me the ability to build out agents and automations. I showed you an automation that archive database daily recap. And I also showed you two agents, my Slack assistant, and also my thumbnail generator in Telegram. I encourage you to go check it out. Just a little bit of a caveat. These features are still in beta. And so there's still some rough edges. So expect certain things not to work as great as you might like, but we're very early on in this feature for Replit and I'm really excited for where they're going to take this. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. And if you're building any automations or agents on Replit, please let me know. I'm available on LinkedIn. I'm available on X. Hope to talk to you soon. Cheers.